Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to the internet. It's been a while. Well, a couple of days for YouTube. And, uh... Anyone excited about Jumpstart? Looks interesting. I actually don't know what that is. We just borrowed a bunch of cards from Manatraders.com. So if you guys are looking for a sweet subscription service, if you guys want to test out Pioneer or Modern or Standard on Magic Online and you want a sweet subscription service to fill out those cards, check out Manatraders.com. With the link and promo code down in the description below, you will get 20% off the first three months of any subscription, which is a great deal. <clears throat> and you can also support the channel by doing so. So be sure to do that. And we are going to play this Sultai deck that we found in Pioneer. And uh, at 5 out of League, and it looks pretty sweet. And we have 26 lands. The lands that do things, I'm going to just, just go over those because otherwise they're just basic lands. We have two Lumbering Falls that attack for us. Two Failed Passage like, that sack for us. And two Castle Vantress, which I guess they just scry for us. I can't really think of our, uh, anything that rhymes with sack and attack. That's sad. That's sad. <coughs> so, Force Sensor is actually seemingly popular in this format right now. I think we also have this in Blue-White Control. In this Blue-White Control deck, there's also Force Sensor. Uh, I guess it's just good, right? Like, you either counter something early or you cycle it late and get some value out of it. Uh, we also have three Abrupt Decay, Solid Removal Spell, four Growth Spiral, three Euro. This card is absolutely bonkers. I'm really grateful. Both of the both of the Titans are just super cool, and I'm I'm glad I picked up all of my copies from Cool Stuff Inc. I actually have a ton of cards here that I purchased from Cool Stuff for Standard, uh, and uh, I gotta sleeve these bad boys up. Standard Pioneer and Modern, I guess. Uh, four Sinister Sabotage. Three mana counter spells seem to be uh, the real deal in this format. Three Brazen Borrower, which is also nice. Four Wilderness Reclamation. Uh, this is great because it lets you tap out for something like Uro on your turn. Untap, Played Frilled Mystic. Uh, you activate the Scarab God. You can tap out for the Scarab God and then activate it on the same turn. You can dig through time sooner than you otherwise would be. I, I mean, letting you keep up any of these, these instants... Uh, yeah, I guess it's everything. It's everything in the deck except for Euro. Uh, and then two Dig Through Time and three Scarab God. Scarab God seems great. My only concern with Scarab God is that we don't have a ton of ways to kill their creatures, so we really just want to um, sac either either counter them Thank with you. Sinister Sabotage or Frilled Mystic or hope they're sacrificing them with, like, you know, if they if they play an Euro on turn three, we get to Scarab God it back before they get to cast it. Some elf. Hey, Rang, are you thinking of having Swole Mike still do videos, but just over Skype? We are. Rob and I are actually thinking of coordinating a visit so that we can still do our set review for um, the next set. And then we can also, like, play at the pre-release, which should be fun. And then we can do some other videos, too, but that'd be sweet. And so we're trying to coordinate a visit for that. And um, hopefully we can do that. Sideboard is two Aether Gusts, two disdain one Disdainful Stroke, three Scavenging Ooze, another great card because it lets you exile, like, you know, their graveyard. I'm trying to think of the Averro Truth combo. Averro Truth, like, puts your graveyard into your... So, like, if you can actually exile their graveyard, they don't get a library, right? They don't get that one turn. So, Unravel the Aether. Uh, also great. Just, it's like a natural... Is this just worse than... <clears throat> I'm trying to think of what your targets would be in this format. And I'm wondering if it's worth just, like, Return to Nature. This is probably going to come up with a bunch of stuff. Yeah, but, like, Return to Nature is destroying an artifact. Exiling a card from a graveyard could be relevant because a lot of times the inverted decks just have, like, one? I don't know. They're both two mana. I'm trying to think if there are any relevant enchantments or art. I guess Heliod. It's for Heliod, right? It gets rid of Heliod where this doesn't get rid of Heliod, so... Uh, Assassin's Trophy as a one of. Mystical Dispute as a four of, which is great. You just bring all of these in against the uh, Thassa's Oracle. And then three Tireless Trackers. So, yep, Jazz won. That's, we're on the same page. So we're going to try this deck out and see how it goes. Um, feeling good. So hopefully we can get some matches in. And uh, not mess it up too badly. Oh, cancel. I'm going to leave because I don't know what deck they set me up with. Okay, they set me up with the correct one. Sultai Reclamation. Sounds good. With the Boros hand. I 
I really don't know why this light keeps going on and off. I'm going to have to check it out in a second. Maybe I'll do it right now. Hold on. Check my Twitch whisper. Ooh oh, interesting. Ben, I'll check that out, buddy. Hold on. Still down here. Hold on. <clears throat> All right, we put it in a new outlet. Let's see how that works. <clears throat> Let's see if being in a new outlet helps anything. Where's this pie in the <laughs> Frank LaFleur? <clears throat> okay. Let me mention, let me talk to, let me reach out to Mana Traders. I would like to play first. Um... Yeah, this seems good. I'll keep this. Let's see what the odds are uh, playing against that Oracle. Bit it did did it do. So we could play Overgrown Tomb, keep up uh, Abrupt Decay. Well, they're just going to thought seize us, I'm sure. Yep, never. No surprise there. Boom, 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 boom. <clears throat> so based on Water Griffin thought seize, I'm pretty sure this is Inverter. Oh, they're going to get rid of my counter spell. Yeah, this seems good. <laughs> now they don't know about the sensor. Oh, they missed the land drop. That's fascinating. <clears throat> okay. Well, we have six. We have two last turn. We should have just went yield to end end turn end step. Uh, yield. Well, oh, they just kept a one lander. Fascinating. All right, well. And Thought sees me? Hmm. <laughs> sure. <clears throat> this is a weird hand. This is a weird keep. I mean, now we get to Castle Vantress, which is pretty sweet. And <clears throat> so I guess we actually don't get to Castle Vantress because our opponent conceded. All right, so Mystical Dispute comes in. Brazen Borrower, probably not great here. I actually don't know. A lot of people are playing Brazen Borrower, but I feel like it's not great in this particular matchup, maybe? Same thing with Abrupt Decay. Like, you can kill the Oracle, but that doesn't do much. Scavenging Ooze seems pretty solid. I would like all three. Probably take out one Wilderness Reclamation. Or one Scarab God, I guess. <clears throat> um, 
I actually don't hate this hand. It doesn't have a lot of disruption. Let's see if they thought sees us take our Euro again. Yep. Every game. No. No no game, huh? All right, well, let's go breeding pool. <clears throat> I like it. I like it. Narset. <clears throat> well, that's obnoxious. That's pretty good. <sighs> it's unfortunate because we have a card that lets us draw a card. So I guess we're just playing it anyway for the ramp. Thank you. Oh, David, what's going on, my dude? Put a land into play. Uh, I guess we're just playing Breeding Pool because it it would hurt us if we did not. Yeah, Narset's a real pain in the bottom section. <clears throat> it's not Tefri, though. So I guess they go Inverter here. Yep. Next turn they can play Thassa with Mystical Dispute up. That is unfortunate. Yep, so we can't actually beat that. Wow, that's annoying. <laughs> oh boy, that is annoying. Yeah, I still think this is fine. I mean, Decay is like only really good against Narset, so I don't feel like it's worth bringing in a Decay just to kill Narset. This hand seems great, though. <clears throat> uh, Utah is actually good. Uh, it's a little cold. A little colder than I'm used to on a regular basis. Makes it hard to go outside or exist, but hopefully that'll be gone soon, so. Yeah, I could see adding trackers for, uh, for Scarab God. I'm pretty sure based on their deck, we just pull, oh, I played the wrong one. I'm really bad at this game. <clears throat> For some reason, I thought this was a reading pool because it came to play tap turn one. I was going to say we'll play scavenging games here because it... Agonizing? Hmm, thought erasure. Sure. sure. I don't really care what they take. Like... Yeah, I figured they take dispute, and then we can just play scavenging ooze. And start eating their graveyard.
what's the uh I wonder the exact moment it starts getting warmer. Oh wow. Thursday twenty-eight, Friday twenty thirty-seven, Saturday forty-one. But next week it's looking like it's gonna be in in the forties. Sure. You got it. That's pretty sweet. Yep, so long, frilled Mistaku. Sure. Well, scavenging news is now neutralized. Yep. Yeah, so I think our big misplay was not playing scavenging news on turn two. <coughs> I think that would have slowed them down a significant amount. If you choose an Eldrazi you own from outside the game or an Exile, or that card, put it into your hand. Sure. So they just keep one inverter in the sideboard? That's fascinating. Can we get like a Sinister Sabotage here? And hope they just don't have... Nope, Breeding Pool. I'm going to take two here. <clears throat> They're going to take two as well. They're going to play Inverter. <sighs> this deck is just so stupid. Like, if you just don't have an answer for this card that... Like, this card, you have to have a counter spell for both of their creatures. Because otherwise, they just kill you. Like, it just this deck is just miserable to play against, in my opinion. I mean, we misplayed, but, like, one misplay should not... On, like, turn two should not cost you the entire game of Magic is, is really the point, so... Thank you! Dylan Mace, thank you so much for the gifted, for the gifted sub. Really appreciate it, dude. Yep, cool. So we just basically die because we don't have a, a card in hand that can deal with the Thassa's Oracle. I mean, it's sad because I don't think this deck is bad. I just actually think... I uh, just think it's miserable. Like, it's just the kind of deck you don't want in this format. Like, even Splinter Twin, like, if they had Splinter Twin, like, I interact with it. I'll probably put more removal in my deck. I'll kill your guy. I'll play up four Abrupt Decays. Like, whatever. But their win condition is literally two creatures that you can't interact with on the board. So. You know. That's cool. It's funny because no matter how cold it is outside, once I put the green screen up and I'm like, I'm like trapped in this tiny area between like the computer and the green screen, it gets really hot. And so I'm always like, all right, well, I'm gonna put the fan on. Which is funny because you think when it's like 30 degrees outside, I wouldn't have to do that. But, you know. The high on Saturday is 41, man, that sounds nice. Are we getting over, like is the cold almost done? I don't know how cold works in these in these environments, guys. Can someone tell me? I want to know where cold is. Zelda Zach, thanks so much for the raid, my dude. Really appreciate it. We're going to take two here. I definitely don't feel like I'm in the north. You know what I mean? Like, <clears throat> Alright, so they didn't do anything. So we're definitely going to bounce this dude. Ooh, an overgrown tomb. Um, Let's play castle here. Let's just play this guy if they don't do anything cool. Thank you! I guess Utah is pretty... Okay, yeah, Lo Logan, Utah is pretty far north, I guess. That's silly. I was being silly, I guess. Oh, what up, Zach? Thank you so much for the raid, my dude. Really appreciate it. What's going on, everybody? Coming from MTG Goldfish. You guys are awesome. We're playing some Pioneer here with this Sultai Counterlist with Wilderness Reclamation. 
Gamma set, Mr. $10 bill. Thank you guys so much for the resubs. Really appreciate you guys. You guys are awesome. Gamma set, I'm so sorry to hear about uh, your pup, man. I'm so, so sorry, dude. As someone who uh, who knows pets are family, dude, I... Thank you! I'm sorry, man. I'm really... I know it's rough. I guess we'll just take two here. The Mike Arnold, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. 36 months. Congrats on the three years, dude. Is what you should say to me because you're the one subscribing and doing me a favor. Thank you, guys. No audio, but glad to support friends. <laughs> Zach, appreciate it, my dude. I really appreciate it. All right, thank so we're you. just going to... Oh, no beats with a gifted sub, my dude. Okay, so we got green, green, blue. I guess we'll just play. We got blue, blue, green, green. I guess we'll just play Overground Tomb here. I don't think it matters too much. I want to know where love is. Oh, yeah, that's never happening. Oh, God, I mean, I don't want to counter this because, like, it's awesome. But I also, you know, we can't let it resolve. I just want to reward people for doing cool shit. That's all I want to do. I'm going to be like, hey, you're playing Gitrog Monster? Fucking do it, man. I don't want to counter that. I don't want to ruin your fun. It's so sad because I don't want to ruin people's fun. I guess that's not sad. It's probably good, I guess. But still. It makes me feel bad. Like, this hurt me. To counter a Gitrog monster? Come on. That doesn't feel good. I guess we're dropping this dude, right? I don't know what they can cast at instant speed that's going to threaten us, that we're going to feel bad about taking down our shields, but I guess the answer is nothing. So do I even get in there with Frill Mystic? They have double Mutavolt. It seems bad, right? Uh, Mike B is still here. He just has... He just has the sickness right now. Uh, I guess we're just passing here. Because everything we do thank is in cheat speed. Enjoy the content. Keep warm, but not too warm. Jazz1, thank you so much, dude. Really appreciate the resub. I am trying to keep warm, but not too warm. I actually... The funny thing is, I actually enjoy the cold. But not too cold. Like, I don't want to feel that shit in my bones, man. That's when I'm like... Like, when I go outside and I'm like, nope, this is not sustainable. Yeah, I'm... Oh, God, I feel so bad. Oh, God. Whenever I win with a counterspell on the stack... Oh, God, it just feels terrible. Guys, I'm not playing Magic to ruin people's fun. I'm just playing it to have fun. And I want, I want good interactive games. The one thing I want out of Magic the Gathering is good interactive games of Magic. I want back and forth. I want big decisions to be made. I wonder if Sensor's even good here. Sensor seems pretty rough here, actually. I probably want Disdainful, Aether Gust, Aether Gust. Maybe Assassin's Trophy? That seems good, right? Yeah, this hand seems capable. <clears throat> I like it. I like it a lot. As uh, Jim Carrey would say in Dumber and Dumber. Remember that? I like it a lot. Jim Carrey? Dumb and Dumber, guys? Alright, well, we're going to lead with this. David, I like that you re you, re you reset the cold never bothered you anyway. Is that a Frozen? I've never seen Frozen, so I don't know. Oh, what up, Nifty Chris? Have some. I have 47 bits left and I don't want them. Chris, you just bought me a Pepsi. I appreciate you, buddy. Chris, buying me Pepsis. He's my best friend that buys me drinks. Yeah, that was the right. Yeah, that's, you got it. 
I think you just mean I think you mean Limp Biscuit, but you know, whatever. It's the same band anyway, so. What are you gonna do here? Something scary? Lana War Scout. You put a land from your hand onto the battle land. That's land rhyming with land, and that's not very good, so we're just gonna I guess we brazen borrow this guy. Because the thing is, it prevents them from casting Gitchrog next turn, which is... Um, what? Petty Theft. Bounce this guy. Okay, we're going to Overgrown Tomb here. We really want a second blue source, though. Next turn, going Wilderness Reclamation, though, is pretty sweet, because it lets us keep up to Sainful Stroke and either Gust. Hot takes from Shikris. Can you tell Frank to move to a more interesting state? Oh, dang. You mean like Washington, Chikris? Is Washington interesting interesting enough? Now I don't care about it. Now we're just going to play Woodland Cemetery. Pop this dude on the ground. Untap all our Landos. Oh yeah, now we're doing it. This deck is sweet. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Chris and Chikris, I love you both. Oh, well, we just won that match. Okay, so let's hope our, our games go more like this. Utah is actually surprisingly sweet, man. Every time I'm like, hey, I was moving... Every time I was like, hey, I'm moving to Utah, everyone was like, oh, that's cool. Utah is awesome. People, like, actually have positive things to say about Utah. And I know it sounds stupid that I'm, like, surprised by that. But you just think of it as another, like, north... Like, north slash Midwest state. At least I always did. Maybe, maybe that's not the common conception of people, so... Maybe I'm just a dummy. Maybe I'm just ignorant. And I accept that that may be the case. I accept that I may be an ignorant dummy. I don't think about you. Yeah, also, surprisingly, everyone here has been really, really nice. So... Utah's nice to visit, I'm sure, but Mormons... Okay, so here's the thing, man. Yeah, there's a ton of Mormons here, but they're also super nice. So, like, you do you, you know? My only favorite reference is my conservative Mormon brother. Chris, you have a conservative Mormon brother? I had no idea about that. I have a few friends living in Utah. I'm considering moving there eventually. You see, that's what I'm saying. What's the food like? Good variety. I think choices are a bit same. Same. Uh, okay, so every meal I've had in Utah so far has been amazing. There's this place called Lucky Slice near me, which is great New York style pizza. There's this place called uh, There's an amazing Indian restaurant that was actually on Drive-ins, diners, and dot dive dive-ins, diners, and dot diners, divers, diners, and dot <laughs> the Guy Fieri show, man. Diners, drive-ins, and dives. This is Triple D show. It was actually on there. It was called Tandoori Oven. You can check it out. Um. So it it it's, the place is amazing. I've only been in Utah for like two weeks outside of like traveling, and I've gone there twice already. Driners, diamonds, and doors. <laughs> oh man, yeah. So like, it's been amazing. Like, and also we went to uh, there's an Ethiopian place down in Salt Lake City that we went last time, and that was good. Salt Lake City is about an hour and some an hour and change away though. So, Tandoori Oven is actually the best. Oh, dude, it's so good, and the prices are so cheap. I was like looking at the prices and it was like four fifty for two garlic naan, right? This is gonna sound this is gonna sound so silly, but like that's two twenty five per garlic naan. Every other Indian restaurant I go to, it's three ninety nine for garlic naan. I'm like, that's half the price. And like for paneer tikka masala, it's like eleven ninety nine. Every other restaurant's like thirteen or fifteen ninety nine. The prices are unreal. Yeah, the place is amazing. It's 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 by far like one of my favorite Indian restaurants I've ever been to. And um. Chris, you're very good at clipping these Frank Speaks in Tongues. Uh, oh, that's the same one. Oh, that's the original. That's nice. That was good. I don't even remember what I was doing. I'm trying to remember without clicking it. Um, I feel like we were playing Gitrog Monster at this in this clip. I feel like I'm going to be wrong, though. I'm way wrong. Oggle. Og oh, it was Boggles. That's what it was. Oh, man. That was... 
I'll oogle the boogle. I will play first. I will definitely keep Thank this you. beautiful hand. Juposhi, what's going on, my dude? Welcome back. Thank you so much for the reset, my dude. Really appreciate it, buddy. Thank you so much, man. All right, we'll start with this guy. We'll second this guy into this guy. The triple D show. That's probably going to be a good one. It's funny looking at like the old clip that Chris posted and the new one that this that that Juposhi posted, or that Hajgalashi posted, or rather the one that Chris posted. I'm I'm literally having a stroke right now. I'm just gonna wow. Three of you clipped that. That's amazing. Well, that's good. That's good forever. That's my life now. Wow, Tiger Nate, Hajigalashi, and Ben all got it. That's wild slash my face. You know what? Knock yourself out. Oh yeah, that's not. Let's not do that. Also, it might be that sensor's like the only good <laughs> two mana counter spell in the format. Although Essence Scatter seems very good, right? Like, Essence Scatter stops Inverter of Truth. It stops Thassa's Oracle. What would 504 Jesus do? Wild Slash your face, obviously. Man, everybody knows about 504 Jesus. I really don't want to take two extra damage, but I also don't want to un let them, like, play whatever they want. Oh, Euro gives me three life, though. That's pretty gas. I think we just go Woodland Cemetery Euro. Let's do that. We draw a card. Put this into play tapped. Oh, man. Euro gaining that three life. That's relevant. That guy... I don't care about. Mm, okay, in 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 multiples, these guys are annoying. That was a nice little combination move you did there. Okay, now we're talking. I'm saying no. And then I'm going to play this bad boy. And then I'm going to untap all my landies. See, they can just attack and not have to worry about me. Well, at least they didn't play Hellrider. That's pretty good. I'm just going to say no here. If you got, like, infinite lightning bolts you want to throw at my face, that's fine. Is this four? Uh, that's pretty oh, five of their cards? Sure. So we got three in there right now. At the end of the turn, we can go one, two, three, four, five. Trigger on the stack. Trig trigger on the stack. Let's do that. Remember that when I said I might be moving to Utah, well, I'm not because University of Utah decided to hire someone who hasn't finished the PhD and no publications over someone who finished three years ago, has more experience, and a book deal. I won't rant. Juposhi, you have a book deal? What is even happening? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I might as well tap it all right. There's literally no incentive not to. Because we get to keep the mana up, right? So, four, five, six. Let's dig through time. Uh, I'm just going to pay the mana for it. I want to know where love is. I want you to counter this. That guy's not. You're not going to deal me too. And then. Oh yeah. Put you on top for sure. Well, whatever you have now. Sure. That's just going to deal me. Then I. um Oh, double Euro. I think we just want to play Sinister Sabotage Euro here. Yeah. 
yeah being able to just cast euro and then escape euro gain six seems pretty insane Is Skullcrack legal in this format? I guess we can Sinister Sabotage it. We ain't scared of nothing right now. Oh, no. Oh, God, no. That was an amazing top deck, but still no. I kind of just want to Surveil just to... No, I'd rather have the Counterspell, especially when we're going to play Euro and then Untap. Yep, all right. So we're going to go... One, two, three. Blue, blue, green. Nope, got to keep up double green. Then green, blue, yeah. So let's play this one. Put a land card. No, I'm good. Play this one. Green, blue, green, blue. Excel Sabotage, Dig, Fabled Passage, Growth, Sensor, and other Sabotage. Done. Draw another card, gain another three. Put you on to play tapped. Go to the end phase. Keep up two counter spells. Untap all my lands. Is that good? That seems good, right? Sinister Savager is better than Resorb, yes. When we're when we're not playing white, yes. Also being able to put a card in your graveyard when you're trying to uh escape. Yeah, also pretty good. Hunter's getting real upset about some things. You could probably just cycle this sensor at this point. You could probably cycle the sensor for the correct mana as well. That's a Oh, this does this every time it attacks. Yeah, that's pretty insane. Yeah, let's just play Scarab God here. <laughs> oh, Jesus. How does a red deck beat this card? That's insane. He's like, that guy's so good. I'm like, yeah, it ain't bad. Oh, God. Oh, I like a... Dra Wait, there's no Dragonlord Selengar main deck, but I, I, I like the... I like that. Okay, so Aether Gust is probably decent here. Abrupt Decay, good. Gross Power, good. Brazen Bar, probably not great. Um, I would say Aether Gust, Aether Gust. Scavenging Ooze is probably just fine. One Scarab God can go. Put another Scavenging Ooze. Play Tireless Tracker just because. Jojo MK, thank you so much for the resub. Really appreciate it, buddy. Thank you, thank you. Two whole years. God, how the time flies. How the time flies. I don't think we want Disdainful or Unravel. I don't think I care about Assassin's Trophy. Scarab God and Brazen Bar was not great. Mystical Speed's not great. So these are the only cards that I'd really consider here. Um, I kind of want the other Scavenging Ooze just because it's a, a guy on the ground that can eat creatures and gain life. Like, that seems relevant. I could see taking out one Dig. I guess I guess because of Ember Cleave we could have played the un Unravel the Aether, but I mean, we do have lots of counter spells. I will keep this hand. It's a little slow, but it's okay. That was my time joke. It was very good. I was very proud of you. That being said, I'm not paying super close attention. Well, you know what they say. Pay attention on one hand. Think about it. Drawn Catacomb. Dang it. All right, I guess we're just going to keep up uh, Sensor Mana and then also Grow Spiral. They were like, pay attention on one hand. I was like... That's right. Hmm. 
Well, can't do anything about this two damage. So you know what? I'll deal with it. We're just hoping for a black land here so we can kill the carry Zeb. Carry Zeb poses a bigger threat than most of these creatures. Alright. Natural and Harm. Scavenging is decent, but no creatures to really eat, so. Black mana. Gotta take two for it. Oh no. Let's play Wilderness Reclamazione. Untap him. I guess we can wait to Abrupt Decay, right? Is this whenever she attacks, right? Not like at the beginning of combat. Okay. Yeah, we can wait. Thank you. I can't believe this is our third round already. Kerwit, what up, my dude? What up, my dude? You mean Kerwit just hung out for like six days? It was awesome. I guess it was five days, but you know, that's close enough. Kerwit, turns out, is just as cool in real life. Also, super weird, man. What a weird guy. <laughs> Kerwit actually asked me, he was like, was I, was I as weird as I, you thought I'd be? And I was like, no, nah, you're a good dude. Hodge Galashi, we gotta hang out too. Maybe I do need to come to... Oh, really? That's going to be your... Yeah, so yikes for me, dog. Let's play this guy. Yep, I'll take a damage. And now I'm just going to eat this now. Is there a reason? Is there a benefit to eating it now rather than... Like, they can't exile it, right? Do we get anything out of it? Not really. I guess I can wait. My god. Wilderness Reclamation being able to let you go Scarab God into... Uh, activate Scarab God on the same turn is pretty nuts. Next turn we'll also have 12 mana, so we can activate it three times. There's not enough creatures to do that, but still... Can I tell you I hate Rampaging Frost on more than anything? Did I turn on auto yields for Wilderness Reclamation? I just turned off all my auto yields. I don't remember doing that, but I, I very well may have done that out of habit. It's weird because the heat just came on, but I also have this fan going in front of me, so it's like... More than, for, more than Inverter? No. Not, not more than Inverter. Karizev's expertise. That's that's terrifying. So we're gonna take a bunch. Five. Yep. That's a yikes for me, dog. <laughs> we are both at work. Kermit, how are you still at work? I guess it's 6.30. Is 6.30 the time you'd normally be at work? Can't block here. If I block here, we try 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We go to 2. That's pretty terrifying. I could just chump, take 3, 4, 5, 6, and go to 5, which seems better. But then we only have one creature on board. I think we actually have to do this, unfortunately. Like, there's no situation. Like, if we go to two, we play scavenging as we die. You know, so it's like... Yep. Fascinating. 
One, two, three, four, five, six. We could go Wilderness Scavenging Ooze, which actually seems pretty decent. We go double block here, we take one, two, three, we go to one, and then we keep up a Sinister Sabotage. That actually could keep us alive. I have one card in hand. We're just hoping it's hoping it's not great. Carry Zev's expertise, man. That's a card right there. No. Oh, I did it again. Yeah, it's definitely a card you don't want to auto-yield to. Thankfully, it did not matter in this situation because we were nothing to spend the mana on. Oh man, this has to be done. And if they have any instant, we're just dead, right? Double blocking here prevents three. Blocking any of the ones prevents two, so. I guess we could eat their cards, right? So like they th that would make these guys less. Um. Yeah, all right, let's do that. We are at one. We have a counter spell. Um, oh boy, this might be it. Oh, sensor can go in the graveyard because we're not going to be countering anything relevant at this point, I don't think. Green. I want to eat this, but at the same time, like, Players can't gain life is a little too good, I think. We can go block, block still. No zombos. We're at the mercy of our top decks. Euro. Wilderness Reclamation number three, huh? That's pretty good. Yep. Let's get rid of this now. Do I have any incentive not to play this? I don't think so. <sighs> That's life. That's what all the people say. You try so hard, lose anyway. Um, all right. I'll give it a shot. Any of them there blue scry castles? Yeah, we got two scry castles. No one says that? How dare you? How dare you? Okay. Yeah, maybe we should cut a couple Sinister Sabotages, to be honest with you. Thank you. Tireless Tractor with a resub. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it, even though I have not boarded in the Tireless Trackers yet. God, my kingdom for a black mana to kill this Monastery Swift Spear. Oh, that's frustrating. I feel like this deck does not have enough black mana, to be honest with you. Yeah, that's not black mana. So 
So we got one, two. We have no swamps to even search for our tail passions. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I mean, the funny thing is we only have like six black cards, which so it should be enough theoretically. But. Interesting. Okay, so the light still does it in a different light switch. That's interesting. I mean, next time we get to go Sabotage Wilderness, Frilled Mystic. So our actual plan is pretty good here. Next thing we're going to do is test the outlet itself. Or rather, the smart plug. I think one basic in every color is good. I can understand why they don't have it because you don't want to draw your black and have frilled mystic in hand because it's super awkward. So I do understand that. But on the same hand, like I also want to be able to Okay, we're yeah, you're just get to stay on top for sure. Oh god no. Can you imagine if I just played frilled mystic here? Now we just get to keep up frilled mystic and next time we get to go Euro into whatever untap all our lands dig through time what is this no that guy's gotta go hey hey ho ho now they can't even attack us which is fantastic oh uh, yeah i'll use the ability this is why i always try to draw the right lands well, that's why you, do you have a phd nature's nature's little treasure nature's little treasure I kind of like scavenging this here, eating two of these. I don't really need the mana, but getting the four drop is pretty good. Look at us getting in there. Do I want to tap one, two, three, four, five? I don't think we want the mana for anything, unfortunately. I think we block here, right? I don't know. I think we just take one. I'm going to have to use two spells on our scavenging ears to actually kill it. That's fine. Gobble it up. Gob gobble it up. That was like a million for one. I drew lands once. It was wild. Man, what a time to be alive. Oh, we just win the game. All right. Well, that was interesting. And OBS disconnected at the exact moment. That's cool. It still says we're live, though. Well, we're still recording, that's for sure. <laughs> so I guess we got that going for us. And we won this game. I guess I stopped streaming and then start streaming again? I don't know. That seems terrible. My internet is still going. It says I'm live. I guess I'll give it a second. Hey. All right, we're back. So what are we changing here? I want to take out one. 
I think one hinterland for one more drown. We don't have drowned catacomb in here. We do. We have two drowned catacombs in here. I think Euro's really freaking good. I also like Essence Scatter. I think Essence Scatter is also very, very good. I would almost cut one Brazen Borrower for, like, another useful card, like an Uro and Abrupt Decay. I don't like Abrupt Decay, though, because it's proactive. The problem, <laughs> the problem against the Inverter deck is you want reactive cards. I want to be able to kill their things. You think Earl likes the party or no? Um, you know, maybe. I don't know. It's hard to say. I put one in the land pile, though. That's pretty interesting. So all of our black sources are right here. Plus these two. So ten, 10 black sources. Right. It's hard to say. <laughs> Why is that so funny? Uh, I don't, I, like I said, I don't want, so I don't want a basic swamp in here. I know it sounds weird, but like the reason being, if you draw your one basic swamp as your fourth land, your frilled mystics are just offline and you have four of them. So it's a huge, mm. I like unmoored Eagle a lot. And I think it should be in the sideboard as like a two of, because we don't actually have any other ways to, uh, this is for Heliod. I take one tireless tracker out. I think that guy's good, but like that's super cool when the light does that. It's really I'm having a good time. Let me take the smart plug out and see if it still does it. Let's let's try that. All right, we're going down again, guys. We'll see you later. And I just dropped it. Hold on. Okay. So this might be the problem. Maybe the smart plug. Let's see if it still shuts off and on again. So I put it in different outlets and it still does it. So it's not the outlet issue. And my PC and everything on my desk is connected to the same power supply the same uh, battery backup so it's definitely not the battery backup or else everything else will be shutting off intermittently as well so the issue is either with this or the light itself so we'll see okay so back to the deck back to the deck back back to the deck I do want one more black source in the deck. We have two woodland, two drowned, four watery, two overgrown. Maybe we just want one more overgrown tomb in place of like one, probably in place of one forest. I don't think we need three basics or four basics rather. And I do want the double blue for Sinister Sabotage and Brazen Borrower over. Yeah, I think I like that better. It's still a green source. It's still going to put all our lands into play untapped. Got two on Mordigo in the sideboard. Do we need Disdainful Stroke if we cut on Mordigo? Probably, because it's still very good. Is four Mystical Dispute Overkill? Maybe. But it's also good against the, the blue-white control decks. I'm going to cut the Disdainful Stroke. All right, let's try one more match with this guy. Double black for Kalita seems pretty, pretty hard to do. I'm literally adding a second, another black source because I'm having trouble drawing single black mana, let alone double black mana. Why don't you, what if you throw this deck in the trash can and build the sweet unexpected results deck we all know you've been dreaming about? Huh. That's a good idea, too. 
Double black for your mom seems kind of hard. Oof, that sounds more rough than I meant it to. I don't know how I ever modded you. Did we go from like 200 viewers to like 60 viewers after that stupid uh, crash? That's pretty cool. Man, internet things are super cool, dude. Thank you. Oh, Rogue Optic Dev, thank you so much for the resub, buddy. I've missed you too, my dude. This is an e this is a this is a meme my friend Chris just sent me. So that's cool. So that's good times. If you guys are looking for good times, I found it for you. Abraham Stinkman, twenty thirteen, <laughs> horrifying. That's horrifying. Bring it back, it soothes me. Okay, well, there you go. There it is for you. It kind of looked like a turkey, man. <laughs> this is not the way. You guys are funnier than I am, I'll be honest with you. And now it's time to rumble in the jungle. I bet there'll be a black source in opening hand now. Look at that. We tweaked it. Now it's perfect. Keep it. I'm gonna... Abraham Stinkman. What can I say? I'm trying my hardest to be a major contributor to the Franklin Port community by supplying dank memes during streams once in a while. Chris, you do a great job, buddy. A do 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 do. Tequila. Dank Mimas. So just forest here and then breeding pool next turn to Euro. Like forest lets us play Brazen Bar if we need to. Breeding pool. Tapped lets us do nothing. I think it is forest here. Because it still lets us play. We still have black mana and blue mana that come into play untapped. Oh, interesting. So I'm actually probably not going to run a Euro into a, a sensor because sensor is the hot shit in this format, apparently. Rattle chains. Okay. I feel like I just want to bounce this guy. Now you can't do anything. I don't think Thoughtseize is too hard to cast with Sultai. I think it's too hard to cast with this deck where we're minimal Sultai. We're basically blue, green, splash, black. Is that just a main phase? Oh, that's nice. Hold on to the night. Let's go Woodland Cemetery, I guess. Wilderness Reckles. Man, where's all my cards in the graveyard, huh? Oh, 
Oh, look at that beautiful island. That thing is gorgeous. I'm going to take two here because I'm at 20. What are the odds that I got a spell queller? Or a collected company into spell queller, you think? Fire it off. It is. It's 100%. That is the correct percentage. -da 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 -da. Wow. Nothing happened. That's incredible. Tequila. Okay. One, two, three. It's your boy. This is where they have to go. Spell Queller. <laughs> it's your boy. Is this two triggers? When it enters battlefield, exile. So I have to let it exile. <laughs> movie night together. Are we all watching the same movie? That sounds crazy. Let me get my dude back. Let me cast my dude. Let me get them trigs. Let me put a water grave into play. Let me say no. Let me pass the turn, I guess. Oh, they didn't do anything again, but I guess neither did we. Dig through time. Dig through time. <laughs> Glad to see nothing's changed, guys. Glad to see nothing's changed. Good lord. Trigger on the stack. Blue, blue. Resolves. More Fs? No, I don't think so. I'm smooth sailing over here, my dude. Sure. Oh, let's resolve this first. Two sinister sabotages seems pretty decent. One, two, three. Blue, 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 blue. Yeah, we can cast both of these. I'm just taking double counter spell. Each of these also puts two cards in the graveyard from the surveil. Here comes a bird. Imperial Eagle. Nibble. Whenever it hit or another strangers metal for the tap a creature your opponent's control. I'm gonna nay this. I got one good blocker here, and I wanna keep it. I'm gonna keep you on top for sure. For absolute sure. I will block Rattle Chains if they attack with Rattle Chains. Oh, wow, we can play Overgrown Tomb Untapped, play Scarab God, and queue up Sinister Sabotage. This game's probably over right now. Does anyone play what anymore? 
What's what's that? Put it in the pantry with your cupcakes. What a horse. This dude is a horse. I'm going to add blue, blue, and the green. So if they want to do something, I can counter it. But if they don't, I'm just going to float this mana and steal their bro. Doesn't matter, right? I'll tap anything. Plus we have one, two, three, four. We have both spell queller mana up and sinister sabotage mana up. Do 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 do. One, two, three, four. Spell queller. Yeah. Okay. This game feels over, but I'm no expert. Oh, why? I, I guess I am an expert. That's why they pay me the big bucks. I don't actually like censor in this matchup. It seems pretty rough. Um, mystical dispute seems bonkers. Uh, Unmored ego, meh. Tireless tracker, meh. Assassin's trophy is kind of meh. Unravel, meh. All these are meh. Assassins maybe, but everything else seems just better. So. Did we win the burn game? Yes, we did. This hand's a little slow, but double counterspell seems good. Also, counterspell into reclamation into frilled mystic seems great. It is Wednesday, my dear. It's not. It's not Wednesday. Is tomorrow Friday already? Good lord. Where does the time go, my dudes? Ooh, I like going Water Graven to Hinterland Harbor into Woodland. I guess we can also just go Breeding Pool into Woodland. It goes to Timey Jones, Keeper of the Past. Wow, that guy's that guy's the hero we need. All right, so now I actually do want to keep up uh, Abrupt Decay. And if it comes to when we're on turn four, we have to pay two to play Wreck into... I like killing this guy now because it means they have no pressure on the board, so they have to commit something. And it also means that, like... If we try to do it next turn, they could still spell Queller the Abrupt Decay because it's not countering the spell, so to speak. So Let's go Woodland. We'll keep up Sabotage. And then next turn we can play Wilderness. How was the trip? Friggin' awesome, dude. It was amazing. I had such a good time. Disney is... Disney is like... Fuck, it's so weird because I don't go on a ton of rides. But it's like I still have a blast just because the ambiance and like... The detail to everything and like the environment. It's just such a cool place to be, man. Do we play this? Do we keep it? Do we 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 Ambiance like the environment. Like just the environment and like the like the 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 general feeling and vibe you get from it. Um, 
I'm afraid I have a Wilderness Reclamation because they got like four cards in their hand. I feel like we just don't have to do anything here. I mean, if you try to collect it, company me here. Go away. Like, if we played Wilderness, they would have just done this. Oh, yeah, put you on top. You for sure stay on top. That counters, like, every spell in their deck other than Collected Company. Oh, wow. And then just get to pass the turn. I like it a lot. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to play pay yes to this. Because the only things you're going to play on your turn are blue cards. So now we get to Wilderness. Keep up Mystical Dispute. Oh, I guess you could play Collected Company. That's a thing you could do. If you have two. Spell Queller. Oh, now we're just disputing that. Okay, that feels real good. And now we get to keep up Frilled Mystic into Scarab God next turn. Oh, baby. Is it akin to the magic feeling of the rat train? Send them on down to rat train. Have you ever been outside and <laughs> got, got the, the call, call on, on the rat, rat train? train. <laughs> I can't see a reason why I would let this resolve. I guess if they have spell queller, it's pretty rough, but then they did not. So they have one card in hand. Yeah, they're done. They are done. Black, blue, this guy, this guy. Okie dokie. This deck was a blast. I like adding the extra black source. I like adding the unmoored ego to the sideboard. Thank you guys for watching. I'm not leaving if you're watching the stream, but if you're watching the YouTube video, slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check them out at manatraders.com. You can find the link and promo code down in the description. Cool Stuff Inc. every Wednesday. I had an article go up yesterday about worlds. You should check that out. And use promo code FRANK5 to get 5% off. And uh, be sure to follow or subscribe. Patreon.com slash Frank Lepore. That's a great way to do it, too. If you guys want to support for $1 or $2 a month. And uh, it's good to be back, guys. Hopefully, you'll give me your comments. And let me know what you think of this deck. I think it performed pretty well. The only loss was to the... Did we go 3-1? The only loss was to Inverter? That seems good. And Unmordigo shores that up just a little bit in the sideboard. So, we'll see. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.